Well, I'm kind of late this morning. It's 10:30. Oh, I got a package to open from all the way across the pond in England, and it's from Marion Bull. And I'm pretty sure it's a lady because I've seen her picture. I know some guys named Marion. Matter of fact, wasn't John Wayne's real name Marion something or other? Well, she's got this thing wrapped up. <laughs> it, it ain't going nowhere. Well, holy mackerel. Oh. I think I know what he is, but I'll let you be surprised. Let you be surprised. Well, where's the... Oh, there it is. And it is bags that she wants me to hang on my scooter instead of that bucket. Oh, they're nice bags. Holy crap. Y'all got an Aldi's over there? Really? There's an Aldi's in England? Well, shoot. Oh, these are insulated too. She wants me to hang them, and I do appreciate it, and I will hang them instead of carrying that bucket. That, and I'll just look, that was insulated. This one, I don't think it's, but it, it's from Lidl, Lidl, Lidl. I don't know if that's a grocery store or not, but, uh, Marion, where's the letter? Oh, wait a minute. I think she said it was under the label. Yeah. Now, she didn't say. I've got to get to it easier from the back side. I don't want to. <laughs> and boy, she packed it. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's see. Come on. There's, okay, there's the. Is that the back side? Still another letter. Or layer. There it is. I'll get it in just a minute. Get it just a minute. There it comes. One. Now she didn't say whether I should read it online or not. Maybe I ought to read it first. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> okay, she says from the UK to Russell. I like her handwriting. Hope these bags work for you. I will be sending something else soon to help you to help with your coffee cup problem. Lots of love, my friend, Marion. Now Used to, when you put XXs on something like that, that meant kisses. I don't know if that's what it still means or not, but. And she's got a heart. From my family to you, heart. 
kiss, kiss. Lots of love, my friend. Well, Mary and I surely appreciate it. Oh. Uh, I had an incident yesterday and I, I was sitting over at public. Let me get this thing closer. Mary and I appreciate it. Oh, there's my knife. I don't want to lose my knife. I appreciate it. Uh, and I will you next. I'm waiting for the other, the man to come from the scooter place to fix my scooter with the batteries and stuff. I hope he comes today. Uh, yesterday, I went to uh, Publix. And, of course, the battery was running down before I got back home. But while I was at Publix, I was sitting there... And I was, you'll see it in this video, and I was talking about how I just want to know stuff about people. You know, I'm just, I don't know. I don't want to know bad stuff about them. I want to know the, their good life, you know, what's going on with them, what kind of job you do, stuff like that. And Marion, I would like to know what you do. Uh, I, I I don't know why I'm like that, but that's what I was wishing. I, I said I was. I think I said I wish I could know everybody in the world's stuff, but of course you can't. But I was wishing that, and then here comes this guy with a cane. I don't know his first name, but he was a neighbor of mine when I lived out in the country. And his kids and my kids went to school together. He had three kids, I had two. And his name was, uh, Fry, last name was Fry, F-R-Y-E. I remember when he moved out there, I, he come out there a couple of years after I moved out there. And I used to call his kids the Fry Babies. Uh, but I, something happened in his life a while back. One of his sons was arrested and charged with multiple assaults and rapes of different women. And he got away with it for eight, eight times. There was, there, was, there was eight charges when they called him. And uh, I've seen Mr. Fry a few times since the boy was tried for that, but I never said anything. You just don't, you know. But I'm like this. If... if, if I'm not wanting to know. I'm not. I, I just asked him. I said, I, I think I said I didn't really know if I should ask you this or not, but I just told him. I said, I am really sorry about the trouble your boy got into. And uh, matter of fact, I didn't even couldn't even remember which one it was. And then he said his name. He said, Oh, Michael. And. Uh, uh, I said, well, what, what happened on that? Did he get time? Or, and he said, yeah, life. I said, life? He said, yeah, eight life sentences. So he got a life sentence for each charge. Oh. Uh, I feel bad for him, but the boy, if the boy was doing that, he was doing it, and he's right where he should be. Uh, of course, Mr. Fry is not seeing it that way. He's thinking the boy got overcharged or something, I think. I don't know. But just from the gist of his conversation, something about the DA was running for election or something, and... and uh, 
But my, my kids did go to school with them boys and the girl. I sure feel bad for them, but right there you go. I, I want to know about people's lives. Well, I really, I shouldn't even open that can of worms, I guess. Uh, but I did. And then it wasn't about 10 minutes after that, here come this girl. I call her a girl. She's probably between 18 and 22, somewhere there. She's young. And she came out of out of Publix. And, you know, I, I have a habit of saying, how you doing, ma'am, stuff like that, when I come within reach of, or, you know, within a few feet of somebody and I asked her how she was doing and uh, she started talking not too good and I got to I got to get this and I don't have the money and right then if when she said that uh, red flag goes up for me and this is from experience but it wasn't that and she was on the phone talking to somebody about sending her some money and I, I I don't know if she's from here or not I don't know but she walked on off and this was prior to me talking to Mr. Fry so I'm thinking to myself and I probably said it out loud I said you know I could give her a glucometer and some strips because I got extra stuff like that and I looked around for her and I didn't see her so I was sitting there and then she come up from behind me and she was showing me at the time I didn't realize what she was showing me she was showing me her blood pressure results off of the machine in public and won't know if that was bad or good and, and I didn't pick up on it right away but I, I told her, I said, you know, if, if I could, I've got an extra glucometer and, and strips I could give you. And she said, where's it at? And I said, home. But I'm not going to be home for a while. I asked her, was she driving? And uh, she was, she started to look stressed. And then she almost run over to Publix going inside and, and she turned around and said, could you come in here where it's cool? I can't, I'm, I'm having trouble. So I come on in there. I was going to try to get her the glucometer and the, and the strips. And she sat on the seat there at the blood pressure and the monitoring machine. And then all the next thing I know, she's down in the floor sitting in the floor and I, and she, she was showing her, her hands was trembling and and she I, she was upset she didn't she didn't know what was going on and uh, I'm sitting there talking to her and then another lady an older lady come up maybe not as old as me and started asking her questions and stuff and and uh, uh, I don't, it wasn't nothing I could do, you know, medically or physically or anything other than express my concern about how she's acting and stuff. And, and, and uh, then one of the pharmacy ladies come up, then the store manager come up. And so the manager was calling paramedics or the rescue, whatever you want to call them. And at that point, I'm figuring, well, I'm just in the way here. I, in hindsight, I wish maybe I'd have stayed till the paramedics got there. Because uh, I don't know if they took her to the hospital or not, but if they was taking her to the hospital, she, her car is there in the parking lot somewhere. And I don't think when she was from around here, I don't know. But I wished I'd have been with more help. But there again, I was talking about wish I could know more about people and their stuff, you know, and that right there, I'm knowing some stuff about this girl and it's not good. 
Um, so, and I don't handle when when people's under a lot of stress and sick and stuff. I don't handle that well. I it just tears me up. And she was crying, you know, and uh, that's something else about me. If if I come up on the lady or woman or a girl or a kid, well, as far as that goes, anybody that's really stressed out and having a rough time right at that minute, uh, it just tears me up. Um, but I told her, I, said, I hope you get better, sweetie, and I'll, I, I, but I'm going to back out of the way here and and that way the store manager could get in there closer to her. So I knew she was in good hands. Uh, so I left. I cut a trail to the house. And when I got over to the back of the shopping center to fixing to go down that little streak of woods there that I might take a shortcut on, I heard the paramedics coming, you know, the siren and everything, so. I don't know. I don't know what happened. And but at least I know she had help. Oh. Uh, but sometimes, you know, I'm sitting there wishing I knew more and then when all that was going down, I'm wishing I didn't know nothing. But there's good and bad in life. And most of the time, you, you got to take the bad with the good, or the good with the bad. But at any rate, folks, I thank you for the... I thank you for the bags, Marion. And I'll be looking for whatever else you send me. My um, adopted grandkids sent me a hat they found in um in the dumpster and it said i think it said super grandpa or something or national grand i don't can't remember but they was wanting to send that to me and they sent it and it ain't here yet and i'm starting to worry about that um i don't think it could have been a bird but matter of fact when this come yesterday i wasn't looking at the label and i'm thinking well i know what that is and then I started to open and put the hat on, but then I seen it was from uh, from England. I said, no, I'm going to wait to do that on camera. That ain't... <sighs> Guys, all of y'all that's looking at me faithful and loyal, I, I don't know how to express it, uh, you know, other than I appreciate it more than you'll know. And every time I lose a subscriber, I notice it right off the bat. The other day, I had 575, and the next day, it was down to 574. Uh, but usually, when I lose one or two, I gain five. So that's the way this happened. I'm now at um, 579. So I'm gaining. But gosh, guys, I appreciate it. And I... <laughs> I don't know why y'all like me. I, <sighs> I'm not going to worry about it. I know you do, and I appreciate it. And I got another thing going on right now. My daughter had to go to the hospital this morning for something, something she didn't feel right or something, and she's at the hospital. But she went straight from work. She gets off at 6 or selling and so she's still over at the hospital I hope it ain't nothing uh, she's awful sickly sometimes to be just 49 years old anyway enjoy the video guys and I'll see you next time and that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Yes, I am. See you. First time I've been out in three days. I 
I'm gonna take a chance and go to Publix. see people walking in around and I wonder there they are. How you doing ma'am? You know they got lives? Oh Most of them got kids, husbands, or wives. I know it sounds stupid, but I wish I could know everybody in the world, know something about them, talk to them. You can't. It's impossible, but... I guess that would be a dream. Well, it's not a dream. It's just something I wish I could do, but you know you can't do. You can't know everybody. Now, this lady coming here, where, where is she going? Who's her spouse that she's got one? She's got kids. Just going about her life. And I know absolutely nothing about it, but here she comes. How you doing, ma'am? Doing well. How are you? All right. You sure are pretty. Thank you. You're welcome, dear. Yeah. She's gorgeous. What about that? Here comes this old guy. Him and I assume his wife. Now, what's on his hat? Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Hey, sir. Could I talk to you a minute? No, I've got two heavy bags in my hand. Okay, that's fine. Thank you for your service, sir. Especially you World War II guys. No, they're sure not. They're going away fast. That's a World War II vet. I wish you'd have had time to talk to him, but he had heavy bags. He's got to be way up there in his 80s. Yep. Yeah, I'm just I got I just got a natural curiosity about people and who they are, what kind of work they do. I wonder why that's gotta be weird. Really strange.
How you doing, ma'am? Uh, not so great. Hmm? Not, not too great. Not too great. No. Got hypoglycemia, blood sugar crashes. And I'm trying to buy a testing kit right now, but I don't have enough money. For blood sugar? Yep. Oh. Oh, you need like a glucometer or something? Mm -hmm. You need a glucometer? Yep. And strips? Yep. Could help her. Should I help her? I got an extra glucometer kit at home, uh, and I've got strips I could give her. GoPro stop recording. There it goes. Supposed to, <laughs> supposed to be recording. Sometimes it don't listen to me. Yeah. But how you been doing? Yeah. Hanging in there. Oh. Getting rough. <laughs> man, I I hate to even mention this, but I sure was sorry to hear about that boy who was getting in all that trouble. Oh, Michael, yeah. That blew me away. I mean, I knew him when he was a kid. You know, is he still... Lock. Yeah, he's fighting it, but it's Marion County. What can you do? Yeah. What? Well, how long is he in for now? <laughs> Eight life terms. Life? Eight. Holy shit! That's because the judge was running for office. Holy shit! All it. My daughter, you know, my daughter and my son went to school with them. Yeah. Um, I used to call them fry babies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, life's full of stuff, man, and, and, and it gets tough, you know. My son, he died in 86. You remember that when yeah. he was killed? Um, but my daughter, she never left home. I still, still got, uh, got her there with my three grandsons. That's good. At least stay close to home, that way you can see them. You know. Yeah. Well, they're all right there with me. I, you know, I got one the next room over, the next room over, and the room on the other side of the house. So I, I can see them anytime I want to. But, um, how many kids did you have? I have three kids. I got 11 grandkids and I got 19 great grandkids. Holy shit. <laughs> I've just got three grandkids. But that's the way it goes. Yeah. I gotta run into the bathroom. Okay, go ahead, man. Nice seeing you. Stay here. Take it easy. Mm hmm. I wonder where she went. I was going to offer her. Well, I was going to offer that girl a 
lady. I don't see her. Huh? Do you do those blood pressure tests? Oh, I was going to tell you. Uh, I, I didn't see you over there. I just see you went that way. Uh, I've got a glucometer. You do? And test strips. Where is it? At my house. Um, but I won't be there for a while. Um, but you can have it if I can figure out a way to get it to you or something. Okay. Um, can you come inside and tell Okay, sure. No, go. I'm going to talk to her right quick. She's pretty. Um, yeah, I'm diabetic and I. I Mm -hmm. Do you think I'm having an episode? Do what? An episode. What is? Shaking. Are Are you diabetic? Yeah, I think so. Why are you shaking, dear? I don't know. I need to find out. Um. Gee, I wish that was here. Um. No, that stuff don't cost me anything. I'm a veteran, and uh, that stuff. Um, are you all right now? No. Is there somebody here with you, or? No, I'm alone in this world. Mm hmm. I'm alone. Are you driving? Yes. Oh. Uh, are, do you know if you're diabetic or not? I don't know if I'm a diabetic. I'm trying to find out. I need to buy a testing kit and I don't have enough money and I'm trying to just get to... I don't want... I don't want... want medics or anything? They can test your blood sugar. Where? If you call the fire department. I've called them last night and I had a crash last night again. Did they check your blood sugar? Your blood pressure? Your pulse. That was all good. It is? Yeah. It says it's not. It says it's high. Your pulse is high. But if you're having like anxiety or anything, I mean that don't... What did but you your blood pressure is good. Is it? Yeah, the blood pressure is Does 124 over 87. That's a good blood pressure. So what's your symptoms? Are you okay? Um, having blood sugar issues again. I know you saw me last time like this. Okay. I'm sorry. No, no, I just want to make sure that you're okay. I'm just waiting for my friend to send me some money so that I can buy a blood testing kit. And I've been really like, like I've been trying to been in a rough situation where I don't have enough money, so I'm kind of just waiting here, trying to calm down. And just... Are you on any other kind of drugs or no. nothing? No, I have a legitimate health issue. So, have you been diagnosed as diabetic? Pre-diabetic, yes. Pre-diabetic. Years ago, but I haven't seen a doctor in years, so I'm trying to get to a doctor, and every doctor I've called this morning is not available. Oh, they have some stuff. But if you call the fire department, let them come and check you out. If you're, you're I've called blood. them. I've called them last night. They didn't answer. What but you should have. Call? No, I'm just having blood sugar issues. Okay. And I'm trying to wait for my friend to send me money so I can buy the kit so I can tell if I'm going to be okay or not. So. We can call. They can come check your vitals, like she said. You yeah. have to go with them. You and they'll check your blood with. sugar. Yeah. Yeah. She's acting like I act when I start I having low sugar. I, get for a low. I eat breakfast so late. Have you seen her? Yes. 
seen the doctor? Can you call this? You're fine. You're fine. They'll just kind of do your vitals for you. Let you know where you're at. You're seeing okay? If it's your blood sugar, then they can take you to the hospital and they can give you. Look at your regulator. Yeah, we did that, Abby. But that's okay. I mean, it, it's time to get get situated. You're too young. you've been down there, you haven't been to one of the hospitals or anything? Last time I did, I went to Monroe, and they didn't even see me. I sat there for three hours, and all I did was take my vitals, so I, I just left, because I'm starving. And they let me go. They made me sign this paper. And yes, I am. Yeah. Man, how old are you? 28. 28. Here, let me get out of your way there. I'm not done. Sweetie, I hope you get all right. I, I don't like seeing you like this. Yeah. Uh, yes. I do know about that blood sugar oh, stuff. Yeah. I don't. <laughs> Call the rescue. Well, I, I, I watched the session on that one. Yeah. You know, it ain't been 15 minutes ago. I was talking about wishing I knew more about people and talk to people and stuff, and then she comes along and tears me up that I'm not able to do anything. I could give her, a t I could give her test strips and and uh, a glucometer, but all that's gonna do. She's got a problem. I don't know. My first thought was drugs, but I don't know. Uh, Man, I don't know. Pretty little girl. Well, she ain't a little girl. She's a woman. She's a lady. Very attractive. Oh, man, that just tires me up. Ah. Ah, Lord, tears me up. You know, <laughs> what's that word for somebody like me, man? It just tears me up to see somebody in dire straits. And when she showed me her hand and them shaking like that, she's, she's got something going on. Bless her heart. Oh, man. 
I don't What was that? Nothing in the junk. My. Oh yeah, it's starting to go down. Dad, don't it? I better get my ass home. Son of a gun. Okay, I can see the house now, so push come to shove, I could push it. Son of a gun. Now, it's going a little bit faster, but it's still in the red. That guy told me when I got this thing, it would go 16 miles on a full charge. It won't even go. Right now, the way it's at, and it wouldn't go three miles on a charge. Well, I got a yeller, two yellers. Right there's the house. I wonder why the hood's up on the car, on Joey's car, my grandson. My college boy. All right, I'm home. <laughs>